Hello, this is an update on the rocket stove. Some of the thermoelectrics we've been working on, some of the projects we've been working on the rocket stove. Here's a quick shot at the whole system now that we got it up. That's the box down there that we got the 12 volt fan behind and small radiator in. That's our water uh, reservoir there, the bucket. Our 5 watt pump. Our uh, two Trojan 360 amp hour batteries. You can see our charge controllers hooked up. Thermoelectrics is the only thing running to our charge controller. You can see the lights on. Uh, there is a little uh, 7 watt. Uh, we got that run to the battery for a little light. We have uh, burnt out our uh, power inverter. Uh, but on to the rocket stove. There's my light. I told you I'd be back with a light video. Uh, some modifications. We had some pecs on there and we was running that water in the loop. I have re-plumbed this. You can see here gives you a good shot. Two pieces of aluminum on bottom. Some copper that I made a tight 90 on and then I two-part epoxy that to that. A little two-part epoxy stuck this on the front. There's six LEDs there, one ultra bright up there. These in the center, I just scavenged out of uh, some of them. Uh, all the lights that hold the AA batteries hold three of them that you put in uh, closets and dark spots, you know. The little pop on, push down, they pop on. Uh, got the fan blowing across the water. This is just one port enter the water here. And. Uh, the water really wicks the heat away pretty good. Of course, I got my fan blowing on across it too, trying to keep my cold side cold. The light. Uh, pretty happy with the light so far. We'll give you a shot of it in the dark. And you can see that's uh, putting off quite a bit of light there. So, uh, fairly happy with that. Uh, realize it could be better. Uh, we will uh, be changing some configurations and probably adding some more LEDs and probably some more ultra bright LEDs to see what just uh, how many we can get going. Uh, that circuit's nowhere near loaded down. Uh, these thermoelectrics tend to have better current flow than they do voltage and from what I've seen. Uh, I think I'm only putting out about six volts there, but I'm doing it at close to an amp, so uh, I could put out quite a few LEDs off of there. And uh, so you'll see it again when I uh, get the uh, get more LEDs on it. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with that little light there. Uh, it just keeps running. We keep monitoring this temperature up here. And you can see I can lay my hand on it. And it's not really even warm. The stove is running about 400 degrees now on top. And that copper is not even warming up. Seems that the water is really wicking it away nice in, in, in conjunction with that fan blowing the heat off of it. So there's my uh, thermoelectric light that sits on a wood stove. I'm going to be upgrading that further and I'll give you an upgrade as, uh, as I get it uh, better. But you can see all the, the other TGs back here that's been put together with aluminum uh, and uh, JB Weld. I've experienced no leaks. They've been up there for some time couple weeks now I'm happy that that's not leaking and it's holding up underneath the stress of the heating and the cooling and so uh, all right that's the that's that update and there's the light and uh, if you got any questions any comments just uh, leave them below and uh, thanks for watching